Got the goods, man. Time to try to get out of here now. And then try to avoid looking at anything. Damn, man. Look at this shit here, man. Let me get up out of here. Boy, they got everything I'm thinking in this thing. I was looking at some of these. Then I start looking at some of those. Then I think about one of these. Then look at those. Look at everything in here. Let me go. these lug nuts right here off of Amazon I'm up and he's gonna work for the Monte Carlo because I done lost some in the process I'm not sure these long enough but we will see I'll get to the bottom of it uh, these right here or the bleeder bolts for the blazer spindles. They got with five in the bag. Mm -hmm. That's that part number right there. And then I got everything in for the TRX 450. That's the rectifier. And I open up this stator. I open up the stator right here. You know what I mean? I don't want to mess with that too much. But I'll show y'all the part number. And this goes to that TRX 450. That's it right there, so. Gonna be dropping off parts and trying to install some more parts, man. As always, we'll see how that goes. Those two together, these two together. We'll see what we get. I gotta go get the tap out uh, from the Harbor Freight, and uh, I'm still at work right now. I get off at like four. It's a Saturday. I come in early. I leave kind of early. Yesterday, I went up there. They had closed at eight. But I will get the tap out too. And some of those Dremel tools so I can actually go to work on those brakes. And see if I can make these lug nuts fit those wheels. And I plan to clean up the wheels as well. So not a lot of stuff going on this weekend. But we stayed in making progress. Y'all just stay tuned. Alright, so I'm, I didn't bring my mic. So I might have to scream a little bit. But what I'm going to do is. If I go ahead and remove these uh, brake calibers again because it's not this side well it might be yeah it's this side i believe i broke that uh a bolt off in there for the brake line so that's broken off in there and um these right here are powder coated on so what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna remove them and i'm gonna mask them off and uh try to come up with a better solution or how I can make it work. So I'm gonna go ahead and move those bolts, take those off. And I brought these lug nuts uh, with me. I got these off of Amazon. I don't seem like they're too bad. And it's that bolt that I broke off. I snapped the whole head off, being stupid. 
but it is what it is. So what I'm planning to do is using my Dremel to knock off the powder. Use these Dremel attachments to knock off the powder right here to see if I can uh, get it down to where it's a regular bolt. Um, and this is the uh, bleeder brake bolt. I already have another one of those. So we'll see. So yeah, that's what's going on in this video, man. Y'all just stay tuned. So my plan did work. I was able to get that bolt out. That's it right there. So you can see it's still like it's kind of nasty. I'm probably gonna blow some air off in there. And to tell when the last time these things were used, I've been having them for a while. And uh, it's like those lug nuts are gonna work. I just wanted to see. It look like it uh it's gonna work so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna pull these tires off one more time i was gonna try to clean them up i may do a little bit of that real quick just clean them up a tad bit rinse them down or something and uh put a little windex on them just so that chrome hit a little bit better i know that'll motivate me to go ahead and uh put the fenders on here and everything so I was talking to my lady about everything that's gonna be required, required to go ahead and get this car up and running. Now we knee deep in on it. And the parts are really starting to add up really fast now. So um, I'm gonna put those lug nuts on. I have those bleeder bolts in here somewhere. I just threw them on a the car. Where did I put them bleeder bolts? I'm gonna see how they fit in there real quick. Just see if they fit. I thought I put them over here. Oh, actually, I put them in Mr. Tropicana. So, but uh, I know where they're at. I'm probably just gonna keep them with me for a little while. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and keep the bleeder bolts with me. What I'm finna do now, I'm gonna go ahead and take that rim off. Go ahead and bust this rim down. And, uh, I don't think, I don't know if I'm gonna clean them. Yeah, I don't know. What y'all think? Y'all think I should clean them? I should just let it go. All right, now I'm gonna clean them one way or another. It's just right now, it just don't make no sense to really have them all nice and clean. But uh, other than the fact that I just wanna see some shine, I just wanna see some chrome. So I'll probably give them a quick little rinse down here soon. If it's not today, maybe next time I'll come over here and get ready to drop it down or something. But it's definitely finna touch the ground, so that's the good news. This thing is gonna be on all fours probably by the end of um, next week or so. If everything goes good, I'll have those brakes figured out. And hopefully they I have them where I'm, I'm able to add some fluid and start getting ready to get them to work. Um, and then go from there. So yeah, man, I'm finna go ahead and throw y'all back a time lapse. I'm gonna take these wheels off and take these calibers off on this side, man. So y'all just stay tuned. Right, so these are the original bolts right here and I got these when I bought these used brakes calibers and everything and just looking at it with these I may have to just go back with the original bolt because these other bolts is fitting good but let me see these may go all the way down in there and it just may feel a little bit better. It definitely got a lot more bite. 
and the head on them is smaller too. So, mm -hmm. we, we, we'll see. We will see. Because this one go in real smooth. So it gotta be one of these gotta work. The original style or the aftermarket style. Now the aftermarket one, it goes down a lot, a lot smoother than these original ones. So we'll see. Yeah, that's going all the way down. So that one's definitely good now. So I'll hold off on these a little bit longer then. I'm about to go ahead and get about the shop. Sit these to the side. I mean, we're not gonna do them wheels today. We ain't gonna fool with it. Yep, so. There it is right there, man. We're gonna, I'm gonna figure it out from here. I'm just trying to make sure I don't lose no more bolts, so. Cause I just constantly keep on losing bolts. And screws and fittings and little small odds and ends. All kinds of clips, brackets, bolts. So I already placed these bolts. I think I'm a grease fitting. I place those bolts. I have them. Put that one right there so I won't lose it. Damn, just dropped that one. I don't know where those go neither. Ain't no telling. Ain't no telling. <clears throat> Ready to put those there in the meantime. In the meantime, in between times. So. Yeah, my partner said, man, what's take so long? You know, it's easy for a person that ain't never turned those screws to ask questions like that. You know what I mean? If you just always take yourself to the shop and you paying them and you trusting them, maybe you might go to the right shop. You know what I mean? But I'm tired of dealing with shops that's lying and taking my money and not producing. So that's why I'm at the point where I'm at now. It may take me two years, three years, six years, but when it's done, it's gonna be right. You know what I mean? I ain't in no rush. I'm in my own lane. I got other cars I can enjoy, other things I can play with in the meantime. So I'm gonna see if these lug nuts gonna work. They look pretty good on there. They look far better than what I had. Even though these are shaped different, these are more slim. These, uh, they all the size 19 and they do fit snug against the uh, uh, the rotor right there. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try to rock it out with them. And it does fit with the rim on, so that's good business, man. That's about the only thing that's the wind is planned somewhat. And it's probably still not right, but y'all learn it with me, man. Y'all just stay tuned. Um, we're going to get to the bottom of these brakes. If it's the last thing I do, man. If y'all liking the content, go ahead and hit the like button. I'm hoping that y'all subscribe. I'm hoping that y'all going to share this video. But, um, yeah, man, it's getting kind of late. And I got to get to the wrap shop early in the morning. Um, I just got hired on at the wrap shop. And I start my training. So the next two weeks, I'm probably going to be um, doing a lot of training. And I'm hoping that I'm able to record some really cool content for y'all. So, man, y'all just stay tuned.